Hey guys, what's going on? It's AJ with Joe's Gaming Electronics, and today I'm going to be showing you how to tear down the Studio Pro by Beats. You're going to need a few tools. We've got just a normal Phillips screwdriver. We have our own on our website that we sell. It looks like this, but I'm using an electric one because I work on like 10 of these a day, so you need the electric screwdriver. You might want some tweezers, not necessary, but I like to use them. Definitely need a flathead screwdriver, 1.5 millimeter. Uh, I have these like little pliers that can be helpful a plastic pry tool, and a metal pry tool. We sell all this stuff on our website at joesg.com, so if you need anything, go ahead and check it there. We also sell all the parts for the Studio Pros, all the colors, everything you need is on our website, so check the description down below for that. One more thing, if you wanna send in your device for repair, we also have that down in the description. You can get a free estimate and send them in to us with a free shipping label, and we'll get them fixed up and send them back to you as fast as possible. So yeah, feel free to check that down in the description below. Without further ado, let's jump in. We're gonna start at the right side. You can tell it's the right side because the power button's here. We're gonna use our flat head. We're gonna get into this little hole here. We're gonna use our finger to pry up. We're gonna remove that little ring and then we're gonna use our Phillips screwdriver, 2.0 size. We're gonna unscrew all four of these. Make sure, if you're gonna be reassembling these to keep the screws I'm assuming you'd be reassembling, but make sure to keep your screws separate and labeled. Uh, when you're taking something apart, it's really nice to have pictures, a very like step. Um, we should have a repair gun on our website that has something like that. So if you want to check that out, you can. Next thing we're going to do is use our flathead again to get under here and softly pry up just so there's a little gap there. And then we'll feed it in and push out to remove the tab and then we will Gonna do this and we will slide it down. You might get to the point where it's too tight to keep going. There should be glue here. Um, I have already removed it. So we'll use the flathead to get under that. Kind of get the plastic unhooked. Now we've got the right side open. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna unplug the battery. There's gonna be glue here, here and here on all these ports. Um, we use heat guns to heat up the glue. Oh, you're also gonna need a solder iron, by the way, to do this. <laughs> so that might help. You can also use the solder iron to heat it up, but just be careful not to melt the plastic. Uh, so we'll heat it up and then we will slowly pull that out. Now the battery is disconnected. There's no power running through the unit, so we don't short any components. We'll go ahead and use our pry tool to get the uh, battery out. And then we will pry up the ear pad. and we will unscrew. Oh, hey Joe, what are you doing in there? I'm trying to fix my headphones to save some money. That sure is a strange way to save money. Why don't you try switching okay. to our channel partner, Mint Mobile, instead? They have the largest 5G network in the nation. Is that the Breathman's company? No, I mean, it's not minty fresh like that, but they can save you a bunch of money. Their plans start at just $15 a month. How much do you pay? $80. Dude, that's insane. It only takes like 15 minutes to switch over. You could save so much money. You could get yourself a new office. You could fix your headphones up right. Sounds good. I'm going to switch right now. You switch, switch too. Check out the link in our description. All right. We'll check it out, Joe. Have a good one. All right. When you open this, the right side, you're going to notice that there's going to be glue holding these wires down right here. There'll be glue all over these ports. As you can see, these headphones have already been worked on. So the glue is removed, but you would use your heat gun or you can even use a blow dryer. Just be careful not to melt the plastic because these have a smaller bore, obviously, than a, than a um, hair dryer. But you can still use it to uh, get the glue up. And then I like to use a flathead and just carefully pry it up. It takes patience. You need to be very patient or else you could pull up one of the contact points. You definitely don't want that. Now that we got all the glue off, we can use some flux to put on the contact points. Just put them on all of them. We don't need a lot, just a little bit. And then we will heat up our solder iron. I got mine set to 750. Unsolder these. You really just have to kind of tap it, let it melt. Unsolder the MS port and then the speaker. Careful, the speaker obviously has a little magnetic pull, so you can accidentally hit it with the solder iron like I did. It's not going to damage it, but there's no reason to touch it. And then, oh, there we go. We'll put the speaker to the side, put the solder iron away for now. And then we will unscrew this center and then we will kind of pull these rubber things out that are attached to the inside panel like that and feed the wires through. There might be more glue and buildup here. You want to just use a 
flathead, put, pull the wires to the side and use a flathead to pull, uh, push it through. Then we'll pull it through all the wires through the inside panel. And now we are just at the power board. We're gonna go ahead and unplug these guys. Again, this uh, these will have glue, but let's go ahead and remove this actually. We're gonna unscrew the LED lights. The LED screws to the side. We'll just pry this motherboard out of the, uh, we're gonna very gently get the flathead in there then use our plastic spudger so we don't accidentally damage the board put the outside panel to the side I have a vice grip I use when I'm unsoldering uh, boards and PCBs it's not necessary but definitely helps uh, but we will remove these ports we're gonna I'll show you how to heat these up you don't want to I have my heat gun set to 200 degrees Celsius at 50 airflow again that's not super important just don't make it too hot you don't want to melt any plastic but you see how I keep movement with the heat gun. I don't just hold it in one spot. It helps uh, not melt any plastic and have too much heat concentrated. So once those are heated, heated up, just kind of pull. Oh yeah, those are so good there. So you can also get the uh, flat head involved, prying up some glue, but all right. That should be definitely hot enough. Careful, the PCB will warm up too. Put the MS port wire and the charger port wire to the side. In fact, this charger port, you can tell, is actually damaged. See the, uh, there's the rip. See those two black wires? Everything else looks fine. We'll use the vice grip here. That's what we call it. You can actually see, the reason we're tearing this down is this main internal wire right here is ripped open. All right, we will flux these guys up do this side first if you're gonna when you're reassembling it's very important to take pictures of where the solder points are we also should have a repair guide with schematics but you can probably find one line but just take a picture you got red copper then copper green copper green blue and red um yeah schematics are very helpful obviously if you don't solder them in the right spot you'll have problems for sure so we'll just start here on the right side I don't like this solder tip. Everyone else likes it, but I like the curved one. So I'm a little unexperienced with this guy. All right, now our power board is unsoldered. We can set that aside. Go ahead and grab our T5 screw. Again, sell this on our website. We also need this. So we'll unscrew the two screws here. Okay, now we can pull this hinge off. Just kind of wiggle it down. You can also pull the wires up because they're glued to the hinge. Then we'll slowly feed all the wires out of this. And then we've got the right hinge off. Take our pry tool, stick it in between the headband cushion and the headband, and pop it out of place on both sides. And then we'll just kind of go over the side. And then we'll use our T5 on the other side, unscrew these two, and we can pull headband cushion and the headband off. Now this is the easy part or that was the easy part but now we don't have this right side dangling around while we're working so we can go ahead and take apart the left side we'll just start like we did last time with the ear pad and unscrew the speaker cup and then these two bottom screws next to the aux port are actually ever so slightly different so i keep them separate i don't think it really matters but might as well keep them separate so put these two up there Pop this off, kind of the same story here. There'll be glue on these ports and glue holding down these ribbons. You'll just use your heat gun again, heat them up, pry the glue off either with your flathead or sometimes it's easy to get it with little clippers. It's very, you, everything you want to be doing is gently and slow and nothing too aggressive. Now that the glue is removed, we will just go ahead and unsolder everything. So we'll start on the speaker, put some flux down. Again, solder iron set to 750. A lot of heat up real quick. Oh, speaker is falling out of this. Looks like it was removed previously. Remove the MS port. Same thing here. There'll be glue for this aux port wire. And we'll remove it. We'll remove this center screw here. Pry that up. Pull the rubber pieces out of the speaker cup. Pull the wires through. You can replace and remove this aux port. I just leave it in there. It's totally fine. We've got four screws on the inside, these silver ones. We'll go ahead and remove those. 
and we can pull the hinge up and we have to remove this tab on the left side here. Just like the same on the right one, pry it up a little bit to get a gap. Feed your flathead through the middle of the gap. Pulls off nice, easy, nice and easy. Then we will open the inside panel and we'll just do the same thing. We'll slide it down. This one kind of slides out easier, as you can see. Put the left side to the side, the inside panel. And then we can go ahead and pull this hinge. I like to pull it through the other way, like this. So I can pull it before I undo the Bluetooth board. All right, now we just have to unscrew the Bluetooth board. Now that the Bluetooth board is unscrewed, you can pull it up and there'll be some glue holding this down, heat that up, pry the glue off, but then you can just lift it up. We can unplug all these once we heat them up. And that glue is tough on these. Okay. Careful, the PCB will be warm. I think these have already been removed, maybe not. Nope, so we'll just heat these ones up too. Now all these ribbons are removed, just so you know, aux port, speaker, MS port, and then the other MS port. Remove the left outside, put that to the side, and then we will vice grip our Bluetooth board. Pull this protective heat tape off. Oh, it looks like this Bluetooth board's never been worked on because we still have the glue. So now I can show you guys how to remove the glue off. So we'll get it pretty tight. Also, you don't need this, but it definitely helps, especially when removing the glue for it to be stationary. We'll use our heat gun. I'm going to turn this one up actually to 250 now that there's no plastic really in the way. So we're at 250 Celsius and I like to start here at the bottom. So I'm just going to do these. We're going to get it nice and warm. It's going to turn the, it's kind of translucent right now. It'll turn more transparent or sorry, more translucent or almost not see through as you heat it up. You can kind of tell it's getting a different color than the other two. Now that it's nice and warm, we've got to be quick here. We don't want it to cool down, but we've got our flat head in hand and we've got our little pliers ready to go. So put that away. And I like to feed this underneath that glue. And I'm not putting a lot of pressure because I do not want to scratch the board. I'm just kind of rolling it up. Yeah, and that vice grip's not very good because it's not holding it down, but we gotta pry it up enough and we might be able to just kind of slowly pry up the glue without pulling up the contact points. And obviously you don't wanna nick one of the wires as well. So we're just doing this very gently and then you can always reapply heat, but you can't, oh, you can't like, you know, fix the contact point on the board. So feel free to go back and then this will fold back down and take shape as you heat it up, but that's okay. It's like five steps forward, one step back. Still making progress. Now most of the glue's off, just got a little bit of the corner here. You can also, instead of doing this, if you don't mind cleaning up a real bad mess, <laughs> you can just use your solder iron, but you might damage the board holding it down too long to melt the glue. But it's definitely something you can do, or try, if you don't have a heat gun. So this glue looks like it's wrapped around this wire. I'm actually just gonna leave it. We're just gonna unsolder these, so. Get some flux on those guys and we'll get our solder iron ready and we'll just kind of hold them at an angle like this and then we'll clean these guys up real quick at least i like to i like to clean them up just because especially when you're like we'll be selling these to customers i want them to look nice and no now that we've got these unsoldered and the solder points somewhat cleaned up we'll just, we can go ahead and pull this glue off off these uh, wires oh, it's really on there throw that in the garbage and then we can remove the glue from these two Keep in mind this button here, this is the volume up button that you press on the side right here. Uh, we don't want to melt that. <clears throat> so we're going to angle it away from the button. Again, we're waiting to see the change of color or transparency, I guess, on the glue. That's how we know it's starting to heat up good. All right, use the flathead, get under that glue, kind of just pull it up softly. You can see we kind of slid across. And we can use these. Oh, we pulled those ones off with the glue. Awesome. So I'll have to repair those. That's all right. We will unsolder the rest of this, I guess. Clean these up. Remove the rest of this glue and unsolder the main wire. As for this wire that was damaged, we can just retin it. Should be fine. Yeah. In fact, we might not even need to retin it. Just a loose connection. But retin the wires, resolder them. Everything will be a okay. And that is how you remove the Bluetooth board. And then. We are done with the teardown. Put this to the side. 
as you can see we have well you can't see but all the parts up here and that is how you tear down to the main wire on the studio pros if you guys enjoy this video please feel free to leave a like you can comment down below any questions you have about the studio pros again if you're looking for the tools or the parts we sell all of this stuff on our website. If you don't feel comfortable doing a repair yourself, again, you can send it to us at joesg.com. You go to the repair service tab. We repair a bunch of stuff, laptops, headphones, smartwatches. Thanks again, guys, for watching. This has been AJ with Joe's Gaming Electronics. Peace out. If you guys love what we do, please support us. You guys can click on the links that we have on the end screen. You guys can buy our parts, sales, or service so we can continue to make great videos for you guys for many more years. Thank you.